Now, is there a way that tech platforms can censor advertisements or should there be a moral obligation to check the validity of products that are being widely scaled and advertised? Meta, YouTube and Google are being accused of making massive profits by promoting harmful health products for women in Kenya. Now, these products claim to cure infertility and even prevent cervical cancer in some cases. But is it really ethical to promote these kind of products which actually have no shown results? Now, there are Facebook pages that sell mesh wrapped herb balls which can be inserted into the vagina to protect women from cervical cancer. The processes like steaming that involve sitting over a bowl of hot boiling water are being promoted. Now, these ads are targeting users in Kenya and scam products are being vastly advertised but while big tech pays very little attention to the claims that are made by the advertisers. Meta is already facing three lawsuits for its flawed content moderation policy. Medical experts on the other hand are warning users not to use any of these products as big tech is in deep sleep. Further, the rising fear is that these online ads might actually mislead people and they would prefer these unapproved medications over legitimate doctors and treatments. Google, on the other hand, claims to filter the advertisements that misguide users and the company says that it takes extensive measures to tackle misinformation in the advertising ecosystem.